Now in this lecture we will be discussing about degree of hardness of water. Now we have said if water becomes hard when it contains Ca2 plus it may contains Mg2 plus or it contains Fe3 plus similarly Al3 plus. So if water contains any multivalent cation water becomes hard. So hardness is due to the multivalent cation. Now degree of hardness is expressed in terms of CaCO3. So degree of hardness, so degree of hardness is expressed in terms of in terms of CaCO3. What is the meaning? Let us discuss more in detail. So if I say I have one liter of water here, so I have one liter water and this contains one mole of MgCl2 and I have another sample of one liter water. This contains one mole of CaCl2. Now in terms of degree of hardness these two water is basically equivalent. So how this is so let us say what is soap C17H35 COO minus this is my part of soap and Na plus you can write if I have MgCl2 1 mole of MgCl2 will furnish 1 mole of Mg2 plus. So this is 1 mole of Mg2 plus. And now this Mg2 plus is basically react with 2 mole of soap and it will form Mg C17 H35 COO all twice plus 2 Na plus. Now similarly if I have Ca2 plus same thing will happen. So we have 2 C17 as 35 COO minus Na plus. So it will again form Ca C17 as 35 COO plus 2 Na plus. So you see what is happening 1 mole of Mg2 plus is basically reacting with 2 mole of soap. Similarly, 1 mole of Ca2 plus base taste that is react with 2 mole of soap. So in terms of reacting with soap Mg2 plus and Ca2 plus is equivalent. So we can say in terms of in terms of reaction with soap one mole mg2 plus is equivalent equivalent to one mole ca2 plus so i can say one mole mgcl2 is equivalent to so in terms of hardness one mole mgcl2 is equivalent to 1 mole Mg SO4 is equivalent to 1 mole CaCl2 and all are equivalent to 1 mole CaS CaCO3. So you see all will furnish 1 mole of so this will furnish 1 mole of Ca2 plus 1 mole of Ca2 plus 1 mole Mg2 plus 1 mole Mg2 plus. So basically all will have same degree of hardness. Now if you add the molecular weights you will find MgCl2 has a molecular weight of 95 gram per mole MgSO4 120 and this is 111 gram and this is 100 gram. So I can say 95 gram MgCl2 95 gram MgCl2 is equivalent to 120 gram of MgSO4 and this is again equivalent to 111 gram of CaCl2 and this is also equivalent to 100 gram of CaCO3. So now I can say 
if I have to find hardness of a water, we have to always express in terms of CaCO3. Let us say I have 1 liter water and this contains 95 gram MgCl2. So, 95 gram MgCl2. This water also contains 120 gram MgSO4. What is the total hardness of this water? So, I can say 95 gram MgCl2 is equivalent to 100 gram of CaCO3. And similarly, 120 gram of MgSO4 is equivalent to 100 gram of CaCO3. So, now I can say total hardness of water that is 200 gram of CaCO3. So, this is the total hardness of the given water. Now, degree of hardness is expressed in terms of ppm. So, what is ppm? So, we will discuss ppm and ppm in full is called parts per million. This is something like percent. So, when I say percent, this is parts percent. Cent means 100. So, when I say parts percent, this is how many parts we have in 100 parts. But we does not write parts, so simply we call this as a percent. But when we have parts per million, we define million is 10 to the power 6. So, this means how many parts we have in 10 to the power 6 parts. So, part per million has meaning how many part, how many part in 10 to the power 6 part. So, let us say if I say 1 ppm, what is the meaning? Meaning is 1 part in 10 to the power 6 part. Now, ppm can be bait by bait. So, this is bait by bait. We can define bait by bait ppm. We can define bait by volume. We can also define volume by volume ppm. So, let us discuss first that is ppm bait by bait. So, when I say ppm bait by bait, this means bait of solute and this divided by bait of solution. And of course, this is generally taken in gram and this is also generally taken in gram. So, this is a unitless thing. Now, we can have ppm bait by volume and then we define bait of solute and this is generally taken in gram and this divided by volume of solve solution. So, volume of solution and this is generally taken in ml. So, this will have a unit that is gram per ml. So, in this case unit will be gram per ml. Now, we can have volume by volume ppm also there is possibility. So, volume by volume ppm. So, we will have volume of solute, volume of solute and this divided by volume of solution. And I, this is again milliliter by milliliter. So, this is again unitless thing. Let us say I have a solution, I have a water and this says 1 mg of solute per kg. So, 1 mg of solute per kg, this means 1 mg of solute in 1 kg of solution. So, my strength is 1 mg per kg. This can be also written as 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 gram divided by 10 to the power 3 gram. This can be written as 1 by 10 to the power 6 gram by gram. So, now I can say 1 mg per kg is equivalent to this is 1 ppm. 
so this is equals to 1 ppm so now I have whenever I say 1 mg per kg this means 1 ppm similarly if my water is very dilute I can write 1 mg per liter that is basically 1 mg of solute divided by 1 liter of water 1 liter of solution now if my solution if my water contains very a small amount of solute then density of water can be assumed density of solution can be assumed to the density of water that is 1 gram per ml so now I can say if water contains if water contains very a small amount of solute very a small amount of solute we can assume density of water density of water this is equals to 1 gram per ml so that is 1 liter will have 1000 grams so 1 mg per liter can be written as 1 mg per liter now this can be written as 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 gram this is 1 liter solution will have 1000 gram that is 10 to the power 3 gram so this is again 1 by 10 to the power 6 gram by gram that is 1 ppm so this means either I have 1 mg per liter in case of dilute water or I have 1 mg per kg both is equivalent to 1 ppm now this ppm we can use to tell the hardness of water let us say I have a hard water this contains 12 mg of MgSO4 and 95 mg of MgCl2 and molecular weight of MgCl2 is 111 sorry this is 95 and molecular weight of MgSO4 is 120 calculate the hardness in ppm so what is the question we have a 1 kg of water that contains 12 mg of MgSO4 and 95 mg of MgCl2 calculate the degree of hardness degree of hardness in ppm so we can calculate degree of hardness so let us first convert into CaCO3 so I can say 120 gram of CS is MgSO4 120 gram MgSO4 is equivalent to 100 gram of CSO3 in terms of hardness so now we can calculate 12 mg so that is 1 is equivalent to 100 by 120 so 12 is equivalent to 100 by 120 into 12 this is mg of CSO3 that is basically 10 mg of CSEO3 similarly we can calculate for MgCl2 so for MgCl2 95 gram MgCl2 is equivalent to 100 gram CSEO3 so 1 gram will be equivalent to 100 by 95 so we have 95 milligram here so 95 milligram and this will be equivalent to 100 by 95 into 95 so basically this is 100 milligram of CSEO3 so this is equivalent to so water has 12 mg of MgSO4 and 95 mg of MgCl2 so total hardness is this plus this so total hardness is total hardness of water 
this is basically equals to 100 plus 10 mg of CaCO3 and now this is in 1 kg of water so it per kg so mg per kg so we define this as a so we have 110 mg per kg and mg per kg is also defined as ppm so this is equals to 110 ppm so let us finish here